In this video, I'm going to show you how to reset the admin password for the IPMI dashboard for a used server you got off of eBay. In a previous video, I covered this Quanta uh, 12 bay hard drive server that I picked up off of eBay that I'm using as part of the Fluxnode in preparation for Project Thunder. I actually picked up two more of these as well for a total of three. So I have one for storage, one for SC Prime, and one f is already running my Flex node uh, with Project Thunder coming up soon. And one of the things that happened is one of them I couldn't get into the IPMI dashboard, right? Uh, for the other two, the username of admin, password of admin, which was the used to be the defaults, got me in, no problem. But on this one, I couldn't get into the IPMI dashboard, so I'm going to walk you through how you can reset that password or create new accounts altogether if you wish or inactivate accounts that may have already been there that didn't get wiped prior to the server being sold. And uh, I will link, a, um, I'll link the eBay listing below for this server if anybody's still interested in it. Uh, they do have seven left. Uh, they've sold quite a bit, so that was nice to see. Um, this seems like it's getting to be a pretty popular server. Uh, one thing I will point out is this says that it comes with E5 2640v2s. One of my servers actually came with a 2670v2, which is 20 core, uh, sorry, 10, th 10 core, 20 thread. Uh, now the other two servers did come with the advertised processor which is the 2640 v2 and those are eight core 16 threads so just keep that in mind that uh, i think in my previous video i had mentioned it came with the 10 core 20 thread that wasn't actually advertised that was advertised to come with the 2640 so just something to keep in mind and they did list it as not having any of the hard drive base. Here you can see all the caddies are kind of missing, the trays the hard drive is attached to. All three of mine included my, included the base. So if that is something that you're really after, then uh, definitely uh, contact the seller. Make sure it includes the trades. Uh, however, there is also, if you hop over on Thingiverse, if you have a 3D printer and you search Quanta, this thing here is actually the tray. Uh, I matched it up with mine, and it's the identical tray that that server uses. And so you can mount the hard drives on the this, and then mount that to the board. So as a fallback, if they don't have any left with trace, that's an option. And moving on over, I run HiveOS on all of mine. So we're going to... The steps for this should be the same in Linux, no matter uh, what version of Linux you're running for the most part. Uh, we'll be using Hive OS, and we're going to pull up our storage provider. This is the one that I wasn't able to get into, and we're going to open up Shell in a Box. And this is actually really easy to do, so we're going to log in with our default credentials. And the first thing we need to do is see if we have IPMI tool installed. So it's just IPMI tool. And it's not installed by default. So we're going to run an update. And we're going to install it. Uh, we want to install, and it's IPMI tool. So we'll go ahead and let this run. This will run a update, shouldn't take too long. And install the I am. I uh, spelled that wrong, so that's going to fail. Sorry, we'll let the update run. Okay. I got to install IPMI tool. So we'll let that install. And this is going to allow us to interact with the IPMI controller. <clears throat> that's on the system. This also allows you to do remote commands against uh, other ones that may be on your network. But for the purposes of this video, 
we're only going to interact with our server, the direct one. So if we do IPMI tool help, we can see these are all of our commands that are available to us. One of the ones I like to do periodically just to check things is the sensor. And this will this will actually show us the fan speeds that everything's running at and the temperatures. So we can see right now my CPU is running at 57 degrees Celsius. And if I come down to the fan bank, here I can see this system fan's running at 300 RPM. This one's 900, 800, 400. Uh, this one's actually running at 4,000, which is interesting. Uh, and then our power supply fans run at 5,600. And I only have one of the two PSUs plugged in right now, which is why this one is at zero. So this is a quick, easy way to tell us, um, you know, that it's, it's interacting. And we can also see the wattage is being consumed at the power supply. So we know the IPMI tool is working. So now what we want to do is we want to, we're going to use this. We're going to run the user command. And so if we do IPMI tool user, this will kind of give you some things that you can run. You're on a summary list and then you can change the username or you can change the password or you can enable or disable accounts and you can also change the privilege access level. So the first thing we want to do is we want to run user list. This is going to show us, oops, uh, da, da, da. Uh, I think it's one. Yeah. And this is going, I don't think there's more than one. No, there's only one on here. So this is going to show us a list of all the users. And here we can see there are actually two users defined here. Right, you have a bank of 10 users for this specific system. Again, this is the Quanta S51G. And so for us, uh, I'm actually going to, let's see here, this one, we're actually going to inactivate one. But first, I'm going to reset the password for the admin account. So the admin account is number two. So what we're going to do for this it's just going to be as simple as IPMI tool user set password. Then we have to give it the user ID, not the name. So in the bank, the user ID is two. So we're going to do two. And then we want to give the password. I'm just going to do admin for this one. And here we can see it changed it successfully. So now if I come over here and I try to log in, with username, admin, password, admin, I can now log in where I couldn't before. And then once I'm in here, I can kind of manage everything that I want to manage. Uh, so if I can come over to users, and here we can see everything else, right? So I can see that this one, and this gives you a GUI to modify it. You can do the same thing with the IPMI tool. Uh, but if we come in here, it won't actually won't let me modify it. That's weird. Okay, uh, it is disabled already though, so we're fine there. So right now, our only account that's enabled is our admin, which is perfect. So that's all I really wanted to show you in this video was just kind of how you can use the IPMI tool. Uh, on your server to reset the password if you need to. And then I always advise going through these. And again, I left it as administrator access because that's what I want. Uh, this is all local to my network only. None of this is exposed over the internet. Uh, but this gives you a general idea of kind of what you can run. Uh, and this is pretty much anything that has a Intel... Uh, BMC IPMI board on it, which is a large portion of the servers run that. Um, you can also use this to control your fan speeds. And I'll be putting out another video. I actually created a custom fan curve for these, for these Quanta servers. And it utilizes IPMI. 
and it allows you to uh, basically run fan control from within HiveOS as a service instead of configuring everything in the BIOS or trying to use the web dashboard.